Welcome everybody to our evening practice session. There are ten of us in the shrine room this evening, and we're joined by two people on Zoom: Angela and Paul, who I think is his first time. <laughs> uh, and such as the practice this evening. Um, I'm going to put a link in the chat box, which has got all the words to a page that's got all the words. If you want to read along with us later on. If you're in the room, there's a piece of paper. Angela, our Angela, yeah. who's moving in. Hi, yeah. Angela. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, everybody. Very impressed that everybody's on the floor. We'll see uh, how your legs are all doing in half an hour. <laughs> um, so we begin um, with a, a talk. And... I have spent the day with pilgrims. I've had a really wonderful day. It's been pretty busy, but um, there are three pilgrimages that I want to talk to you about this evening. And pilgrimages are holy walks, um, journeys that are undertaken fueled by the Buddha or God or the spirit of the earth. And um, the first pilgrim I want to talk to you about is my friend Steph, who is a Buddhist with a different group of Buddhists um, who meet over the hill in near Colwall. And she is going to be ordained in a few weeks time and in tra her tradition, that means that she'll receive a new name. And um, it's a very big deal. She's walked from London, where she lives, to Malvern so far today and stopped here for a cup of tea. So it was really lovely to welcome her and be a part of her journey towards ordination. The second uh, group of pilgrims I want to mention are a group called the Coat of Hopes. You can look them up online later if you want to. And there are good friends um, who are Christian and they have created um, a big coat that will, be, uh, that will be walking to Glasgow for COP26. COP26 is in November and it's the uh, the big hope for something actually happening about the climate crisis is all the world leaders coming together and talking and hopefully coming to some agreements. Whether they will come to those agreements or not is another matter, but still, <laughs> they're doing it. So the Coat of Hopes will be walking up, carried by different people, and it's got lots of patchworks on it. So as it goes, more and more patches will be added to this big coat. It's really beautiful, it's already beautiful and it's very moving to see it pass from person to person as it goes up further and further north. And the third group of pilgrims are very special because we have one here this evening with us, Mikey. Doesn't want me to mention them, but I'm gonna do it anyway. <laughs> um, and Mikey's been very involved in the organization of this pilgrimage as has Izzy from Malvern and uh, many other people um, and it's a project that was initiated by the XR faith groups so the Buddhists the Christians the Jewish people the um, all people from different faiths and it's um, it's a walk from Bristol from London from Norwich from Hereford from Edinburgh from Europe up to Glasgow for COP26 in November. And uh, today is the seventh day of the Bristol leg, which Mikey's been on. So they've all arrived in Malvern tonight. And I've just come from Lansdowne Church, which is in Malvern. Everyone's been eating together and um, they're all doing well. So we were there to meet them as they walked from, from the field across towards Upton and we were there to meet them at Barnard's Green with a little mini samba band, which is really cool. Um, and I just feel so moved by these, um, these projects, these, uh, these labours of love. 
because they are all driven by, by love. They are driven by a desire to do something about the climate and ecological emergency. They are uh, made up of people who are busy people and have busy lives, um, but they've volunteered their time to organize church halls for people to sleep in at night, to organize food, to organize um, publicity, all of the, the, the complicated things that go into this act of devotion. And I feel like although they're down in Lansdowne Church listening to some music right now, I really feel their presence here in this room with us, that they're, um, they're also sitting with us and the Buddha. And I still just really enjoy the Buddha at this time of night when he's lit up by the, the golden light at the top there and the, the, the evening starts to, to get darker behind him. But it inspires me, the beauty of it inspires me. And we need this inspiration when things are difficult, when we really uh, come into emotional contact with the reality of what's happening in the world. It's not easy to face. And I think as people of faith, we're lucky because we have something really powerful to lean on. We have something that, that keeps us going, that inspires us, that comforts us. So at nine o'clock tomorrow morning, we'll be seeing the walkers off from just along the road here. If you want to join us, we'll let you know where we'll be. And Casper will be giving a blessing to the walkers to take with them. I've made them some brownies, so they'll be taking the brownies as well. <laughs> Blessings and brownies are both very important. <laughs> and um, as we sit here in this room this evening, maybe we can just in the silence send our love to the walkers, some of whom are walking for a few days or a couple of weeks, some of whom like Mikey and my friend Melanie and others will be traveling the whole distance and they'll be walking until November. Um, we can think of them and send them our love and be inspired by them. Yeah, blessings to the pilgrimages. Blessings to the pilgrims. So in a minute, we'll move into some quiet. In the quiet, you might want to just notice your breath as it goes in and out without changing it. Just notice it. When thoughts arise, just notice that there's thoughts arising and let them go. And you, for me, certainly lots and lots of thoughts arise. So that will just keep happening. Just keep noticing the thoughts and letting them go. If you do feel yourself becoming more peaceful, just dwell in that peace. And then after a little while, I will begin chanting. We'll chant the Amitabha chant this evening. So the words are, the word is Amitabha, which we repeat four times, you'll get the tune. Um, Amitabha is the Buddha of infinite light. So the Buddha that exemplifies um, a wisdom and love that, that just goes on forever. It's just infinite. It, it, it penetrates everything. It penetrates all through us and all through everything else. And as we chant Amitabha, you might want to just imagine that, that light entering you. And the chanting just gets quieter and then we do some other things. Uh, Namo me, are you recording? Do it. Yeah, Namo me to be.
So next we recite the refuges, precepts and bodhisattva vows together. Mm -hmm. 
the first two um, just repeat after me and then the Bodhisattva vows are on your bit of paper if you need it. For refuge, I go to the Buddha. For refuge, I go to the Buddha. Namo Buddhaya. Namo Buddhaya. For refuge, I go to the Dharma. For refuge, I go to the Dharma. Namo Dharmaya. Namo Dharmaya. For refuge, I go to the Sangha. For refuge, I go to the Sangha. Namo Sangaya. Namo Sangaya. With faith in the three jewels. With faith in the three jewels. I pray that I may not take life. I pray that I may not take life. With faith in the three jewels. With faith in the three jewels. I pray that I may not steal. I pray that I may not steal. With faith in the three jewels. With faith in the three jewels. I pray that I may not fall into sexual misconduct. I pray that I may not fall into sexual misconduct. With faith in the three jewels. With faith in the three jewels. I pray that I may not fall into wrong speech. I pray that I may not fall into wrong speech. With faith in the three jewels. With faith in the three jewels. I pray that I may avoid intoxication. I pray that I may avoid intoxication. Innumerable sentient beings, we vow to save them all. Inexhaustible our deluded passions, we vow to transform them all. Immeasurable are the Dharma teachings. We vow to master them all. Infinite is the Buddha's way. We vow to fulfill it completely. So in a minute, Fee will ring the bell and we will all stand up and do prostrations together. So do do as much or as little as your body wants you to. If you want to stay standing up, that's fine. Just make a bow. Um, just make sure you've got a bit of floor in front of you and we'll all face that Buddha. So I'll come to the front so you can copy me. And the words, it's a bit difficult to do the words and the motion together if you haven't done it before. Um, the words are Namo Amida Bu, I call out to Amida Buddha. So um, Amida is the same as Amitabha, it's just a different language. Um, Namo Amida Bu.
Sorry. <laughs> Always do that. I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> um, and then we finish by first of all bowing to each other. So Pascal will bow to Fee and I will bow to Jama and he will work it out. <laughs> <laughs> and then we turn and bow the other way. So David, you'll bow to Issy Mark, you'll bow to Maria. Um, you two to each other, other. <laughs> and, and then, then turn, turn and about the opposite. And if it doesn't work out, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Beautifully done, and of course, to the Zoom people as well. And then we bow to the Buddha, and then we tidy our seats and bow to our seats. And then we finish by reciting the closing verse together, which is on your bit of paper on the, on the top on one side. And do unmute if you're on Zoom and want to read it together with us. Let us, by unintelligent light, may we care for all living things and holier. And I need to be. So if you're free to join us for a cup of tea, we will have a cup of tea now. And there's a donation bowl on the table in the hallway. If you'd like to leave a donation, if you're able to, toilets at the top of the stairs. And if you've got any other questions, you can ask me or Casper when we go next door. I'm going to put the bunnies to bed. Okay. So maybe someone else could put the kettles on. Yeah. Make me a cup of tea. I'm going to read to Bruce. See you in a second. Morning. Thank you, John. Oh my God, it's so dark. Do go on through to the other room. Thank <laughs> you. 